guys, it's Shelly Killinger from Remax CSI, and today we're going to be talking about staging your home on the cheap. Most people these days have heard of the term home staging. It refers to neutralizing and merchandising your home so that it appeals to the widest range of buyers possible. However, home stagers aren't always cheap. And I have a lot of sellers that ask me, how can I stage my home on my own? What are some quick tips that I can, so I can stage my home without spending too much money? So here are a couple tips to help you out with that. The first tip is to declutter. You wanna make sure that you are decluttering and organizing every area of your home, from the yard and all of the yard equipment, the lawn equipment, the shed, the garage, to every room inside. I always recommend to my sellers, pack up at least 30% of your belongings before you even put the home on the market because it's going to make your home show more open and show better. So that means 30% of your clothing, the knickknacks on the bookshelves, the appliances on the countertop, 30% of everything. The second thing is to deep clean. This is very important. There's no bigger turnoff to buyers than a dirty home. So you want to make sure you're cleaning every area. Start with the outside. Make sure that you're power washing your deck, your patio, your sidewalks. Make sure you're weeding and getting rid of any leaves or debris. Um, those types of things are really important to making your curb appeal stronger. You certainly want people to be attracted you know, and get past the front door so that they can fall in love with the inside of the house. So deep clean the outside of the house. Also make sure that the inside is clean. Scrub the walls, the windows, scrub down all of your appliances inside and out as far as the kitchen goes. Make sure your bathroom sparkles. Those types of things are really going to go a long way in helping your home show better. So tip, tip number two is to deep clean. The third tip, and this is probably the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to home staging on your own, is fresh paint. It's really not that expensive to paint your home if your people choose neutral colors. If you have bright orange or red walls, they might be attractive to you, but they're probably not going to be attractive to the majority of buyers. So you want to pick colors like sage greens, taupes, beiges, off-whites, those kinds of things are going to be attractive to more buyers than a really specific color. Also, painting your home can get rid of scuff marks and it can really make your home show lighter, show brighter, and show better. So paint is definitely a big tip for home staging on the cheap. The last tip is to declutter as far as your furniture. Watch your furniture placement and make sure every room has a purpose. So what I mean by that is a lot of people have way too much furniture in their rooms or they have really oversized furniture in their rooms and it makes their rooms look smaller. So removing extra pieces of furniture, going ahead and putting them in storage, that's a big thing. Making sure that you have a good flow so that you can walk through the room easily and see all of its features, that's very important. Um, removing extra end tables and extra chairs that you don't need, that's very important. Also, if your room has a focal point, such as a really nice set of um, sliding glass doors or a fireplace, make sure that that you know, is is visible. A lot of people put a sofa in front of the fireplace, which baffles me because that should be your focus of the, of the room, so make sure that is indeed the case. Also make sure every room has a purpose and that the purpose makes sense. I've seen some people, you know, they, they turn their dining room into offices. I mean, that's, that's functional, it works for you, but when it comes to home staging, you want that room to show as a dining room. If you want to have a home office, maybe use one of your bedrooms or a nook at the top of your stairs to show as a home office. Make sure every room has a purpose and the purpose makes sense. So to recap, Tip number one is to declutter your home both inside and out. Tip number two is to deep clean your home inside and out. Tip number three is a fresh coat of paint in a neutral color. And tip number four is to work on your furniture placement and to make sure that each room has a purpose. So those are four quick tips to help you stage your home on the cheap. I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for additional tips and tricks regarding the real estate market. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.